So guys and girls, I've just stopped my car heading home from my last auction. The last one was in Greenacre and I don't do many auctions in Greenacre, but I did it for a Badger Fox and uh, it sold. And my final result for the day uh, was seven auctions, four sold out of seven auctions today. None of the properties I had were crazy sort of bidding, uh, a lot of pauses in between, so they were hard work. Uh, but regardless, I've got to say to you, they were very, very good results. Anyway, hi Lisa, hi to everyone that's coming on. So one of the things I'm constantly hearing from people, um, vendors that won't accept market value on the day is that they'll say things like to me, hey Tom, listen, um, if we don't get our price, we'll keep it. And what I do is never argue with them. All I do is I move into what I call trusted advisor mode because my job, and I see it as my responsibility, is I've got 35 years experience. And if I think that I can actually add some value to a person because of their limit of information that they have in making a decision, I feel like I'm not being pushy. I feel like I'm actually being negligent if I don't tell them. So I just say, listen, I respect any decision you're going to make. My job today is to ensure that you have all the information available for you to make a wise decision. And what I'd like to ask you is that if you don't get your price today, which you're saying, you know, like now you want a little bit more, what are you going to do? And classic one today was that they said, well, we're going to hold on and we're going to put it back on the market in two to three years time. And I said, well, okay, um, that sounds like it's a reasonable plan. Can I ask you, um, if you were to sell it today, what would you do ne next? And they said, well, we'd go off and buy the property we want. And I said, where's that? And they said, you know, um, we want to go uh, towards family and um, we're moving towards the water. I said, okay. So can I ask you this? If you are going to do that now, but you're going to hold off till you get your money. Can I ask you, do you intend to rent a property where you go or you're going to buy one? They said, we're going to buy one. I said, okay. So if you were to actually wait for two years for the market to pick up, to get your price, and then to go there in two years time, do you think that those homes might go up as well? And they both said, yes. So I said, so you understand, it's not like your home's going to go up only and the one that you're going to go buy is not going to go up. I said, yes, we get that. So I said, right now, you've come onto the market because you've made the decision, you want to move close to family and you want to be near the water. And COVID has actually fast forward a lot of plans for people to start really doing what they want to do instead of sacrificing. But what's interesting here is that you're basically in the same position on whether you do it now or whether you do it in two, three years time. Because if the market were to go up, what would happen is your home will go up, but so will the one you buy. So I think a better decision is this. Ask yourself, right now, you've got the ability to make a decision for your family. Are you gonna make that decision for your family based on your life or based on the market. And I have to say to you that when you sit there and you give people data and you have a logical sequence of questions and you diagnose before you prescribe, all you're doing is getting all the clutter in people's heads because a lot of the time they need someone to lead the way. I know that Guys and girls, as you're watching this video right here, right now, you may find that being able to say the right thing to the right person at the right time is not your thing. You might find that you actually start having this conversation with your head when there's an objection that comes along. I want you to move away from thinking as a salesperson and start thinking as a trusted advisor that is logical in their approach that is using questions because questions are what give you the answers. And I'm telling you straight, if you're a real estate agent that is spending most of your time making statements, 
you've probably found your problem there. Sort it out. Guys, signing off.